Hey everybody, it's Jay Nation over here. I have another video for you guys. This is going to be a video about online shopping. Um, if you guys have been hearing a lot about QuadPay, Afterpay, Sezzle, these are all different types of companies that you can use to make installments on purchases that you make online. So say for example, like I just bought something here from Fashion Nova and I got it in and only paid I made it for my first payment, they shipped it, and now I'm just paying on it. So it's like a, a better version of Layaway. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about that right quick, and then we'll jump right into it. Alright everybody, so we're back. So now what, what, what I basically wanted to tell you is basically how I started to even go about it. How I even heard about QuadPay. Well, for one, my girlfriend, she uh, she's online a, a lot. She resources a lot of different things. And she heard about it in passing from a friend of hers. And then did her own research and then started seeing that it's actually something that you can actually make purchases out of. And you can actually use for your own benefit. So she decided she was going to try it out. And suggested that I do the same. You know, so I didn't think too much of it, but she went ahead and made her purchase. And and not too long after they said they shipped it and they said it was sent out and everything. And she's still, you know, making payments on it every two weeks. And that's the beauty of it. It's basically when you apply for this, and it's not even anything as far as like your credit goes, but you have to apply so that way they can know that you are eligible to get the account with QuadPay, for example. Then you go ahead and sign up for them and then Depending, but it's always based on your retailer. So if you, for example, Fashion Nova definitely goes with QuadPay. So I went ahead, took her advice, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and make me a purchase. You know, I ain't, had, I ain't bought me some new clothes in a little bit, and I like to feel good, like to look like, I like to, to look good, you know what I mean? So I went ahead and, and made my own purchase. Like I said, I only pay, I think my second payment is coming up this weekend. So I uh, got this bag, Fashion Nova at the bottom. All my clothes came in these bags. I took them out already, so now that's trash. And basically, I bought me like three different things. So I got these, you know, from Fashion Nova. They work, they're pretty good. Got some, got some jeans. And as far as I know, there is a minimum as far as what you're supposed to purchase so that way you can get the uh, possibility to use quad pack. And I got this shirt as well. Fashion over men, you know. So, and I also got this shirt. It's a little basic clerk shirt, but just to try it out to see if it works. And so far, so good. And also, what I wanted to do is make this video so that way you guys can see that if you're interested, you know, summertime's getting ready to come up, you might need some new clothes, you might even need some new shoes. And there are different types of websites, mostly retailers online shopping areas where you can actually get you can use their service but you have to be able to look at those sites so I'm actually getting ready to do I just showed you the clothes I just told you the backstory about how I even got into this thing so I'm going to go ahead and show you from the computer exactly how it looks alright so let's go ahead and do that alright so here is the quad pay website itself now as you can see it says any store split in four means exactly that so they have certain stores up here that you can you can click on Fashion Nova, you can click on these other stores. Um, I'm actually gonna go to Fashion Nova in a minute, but what you'll see is these different types of stores. Now, what I have noticed is that it has Amazon up here, but then if you click on it, it you have to get the app. But then if I go to Amazon itself, I won't see it. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about as far as when I go to Amazon itself. So when I go to Fashion Nova, which I open up over here, FashionNova.com, and I scroll down to so say whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put an item inside my cart just so you guys can see the option to do the quad pay. Now, as I said, it's basically going to cut your total amount in fours. And this is a cute dress. <clears throat> and you're going to be paying it in installments. Okay? So you come up here. Got this dress, for example. 
and then do add to bags. You can add to your cart. Now, only thing I have noticed as far as extra fees that goes along with that is uh, they charge you a dollar processing fee for every payment you make, which is not that bad. Because if you're doing something like this, now you see right here, it does actually have in this bottom section underneath add the bag, pay later, pay later with quad pay. Some places aren't going to say that. Like if I go to Amazon, it's not going to say that. So I can come, from, come up here and I'll open Amazon up so you guys can see what I mean. We'll, start, we'll continue with this one first. Uh, let's do, do buy it now. See if that makes a difference. Now, I believe you have to have a minimum amount that you're spending. So right here it says four pounds of six dollars. That right there is actually what I want you guys to see. So if you see that, that means that you can actually purchase this item and pay six bucks on it. So some places it might have a minimum, other places it might be just you purchasing an item, period. So that is definitely something that you can do when it comes to that. Then when you get to your the checkout process, put all your information in, continue to ship it, and it continue once you get to the checkout. Then this one is going to ask you about how you want to pay. It will, rather, when it goes to the payment portion, it's going to ask you how you want to pay. Then you're going to go ahead and select. What's going to be below is going to say select quad pay. Go pay left, pay left. All right. And I say, for example, I'm trying to see if I can show you guys uh, just an example. Uh, let's do one, two, three, uh, Main Street. All right. Do that. Boom. Continue shipping. Just to see. Oh, you need a last name too? And I got to put a valid number in there. Mm. <clears throat> and we'll say. Anymore, so I don't know if it's gonna do it. It's gonna go through. All right, so we were able to do that. Okay. Now, now the address that we put in, and the one we want to ship it. Cool. Continue the payment. That's what we want to continue the payment. That's your total amount. Now, once you get here, this is where you're gonna see what you can do. So you got, you can put your credit card information in. You can put PayPal, Amazon Pay, or Quarpay. You come over here. You click on that then to be able to sign up for it to make sure you can get it that's when you click click on complete order then it's going to have you go through the process of actually uh filling out everything so i'm going to see if i can let me do this so i can test it out with you guys real quick we're going to open up quite all right so now that we see that you have to have a minimum of 35 dollars so that won't be an issue. Just go ahead and add something to the cart, to the to the thing, to the cart. Um, you could add another one of those if you wanted to. Let's do return to shipping. Let's do return to information. Then we want to go straight to shop. So let's let's just click on this. Because mm -hmm. I'm a logo, then usually it gets you right back to where you need to be. So wait for that to come up. Alright, now we'll just collect one other thing. Yeah, we had to push us over. So I make sure that at least twenty dollars. So now we know we have to have that. So let's do some shoes. And come up here, see all this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select any pair of random shoes. We do these, add the bag, get a size eight, add that. Cool. And of course you can always as you can also get your uh free shipping by getting say five dollars or more. So what I'll do is I'll keep shopping because that one is you know just choose another pair of shoes. Go okay, the first item I have on here did not stay. So as you can see, we're already at fifty nine dollars. All right. So let's go ahead and maybe we'll be able to add one or other thing to push that seventy five. We need at least fifteen dollars worth. So we'll get this one. Add the bag, right? Oh, these shoes are just kind of really, really cute, by the way. <clears throat> Especially these. 
Man, that was really hot. All right, so now you see with this, we actually now have a lot of free shipping, and we also get $23 with quad pay. So I'm going to go ahead and check out. Just to run through this with you guys. And like I said, Amazon, they're not going to have it. Like, if you go to the items, or they'll probably all click on something. But a lot of times, you're not going really, to really see that you can purchase with that. So let's put the same information we going to put in earlier. Hey, Shimon. Boom. Put the address in. The fact that it actually showed up was actually kind of trippy. Um, a phone number in. Put a valid number. Alright, then go to continue shipping. But I like to look for uh, making sure that the website itself is able to, to do quad pay. And like I said, it's, it's not just quad pay, it's quad pay, after pay, sizzle. If you go to those websites, if you go to those companies' websites, you will definitely see a list of places that they actually have available that you can um, get, you can split your payment up pretty much and just be able to purchase it get it shipped to you and you're still paying on it versus having it like layaway to where you had to um make your payments on it then after you finish making your, pay you're making your payments then you get the item so this is the new way we'll see how good it does you know hopefully people don't misuse it but you know I got, you got how that shit goes um like it's a little slow but even here it would still say somewhere that to uh use with quad pay but then if I go through and you search Google it'll say that uh, quad pay is not acceptable with this so there's, there's that thing so with Amazon I don't think they do it right now probably did before and not doing it anymore but that's not an issue select your shipping method then continue the payment now keep in mind we got free shipping because we got over 75 dollars so now if we come up here you use you click on quad pay below here for installments complete order so that way you can go ahead and um apply pretty much for an account with quad pay basically what you're applying for is the, is the account then they'll make sure that you can actually get the account with them saying that you possibly didn't get you haven't had an account before and you know you're not delinquent with them or something like that so you come over here actually put your number in it's gonna have you download the app blah 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 then you just, I, I don't have this number anymore, so I can't really move any further than this. But ultimately, this is what's going to get you started. Then you can basically just use that, make your, pay, your first payment, you know, make your first payment, and then every two weeks they'll take money, they'll take uh, some out your check. So let me see if I can log into my quad pay real quick so you guys can take a look at that uh, in the meantime. Alright, so I'm about to log into this account. So now all I do is pretty much put my number in. So I'll do that right quick and get my code. Alright, so now once you do that, it's going to send you your code, you put the code in, whether you do it via email or by phone, then it is, and it will show you what your orders, or what your orders are. Sorry, I can't really speak today, it's been a long week. Um, but nonetheless, this is my, when I purchase my items, this is where I purchase them from, my order ID, and my total amount, and of course I can view the orders, so that way I can see. Alright, so I had to take a screenshot of this, because it will show way too, much, too many personal information. So, but here's an overview about what it shows you. It lets you know when your first payment was, how much you paid. Then it lets you know when your next dates are for your next payments to be made. And you can have the option to pay then, to go ahead and pay them all off, or to let it come out when the dates say. And then it's pretty much it. Like, it's really, really simple, actually. So, once you do that, you're set up for quad pay, and then you can use it multiple times. I think the limit is three per order. So if you're doing one order, don't do more than two after that, um, and then just keep paying them off, and then you can continue using it with other merchants, the same merchant, whatever, as long as you're paying them, then I can't really care. So um, that's my take on when it goes to using quad pay in general, uh, but more specifically when I had Fashion Nova, and as you guys can see, I had my items actually shipped out to me, and I still have uh, more to get here. So. Um, that's pretty much it. I will definitely make another video about the other companies and let you guys know what I think about it. So far, I think it's a good thing. It, it helps people who want to get those things without having to spend extra money or without having to get it right then and there as far as in total. But um, you give me your take. What do you guys think about it? All right. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I'll catch you on the next one.